The Dogal Hellbox strings we reviewed last year were a revelation, a true gift to the bass world. This year they're following up with a flat one set, so let's see if they can blow our minds again. <laughs> Welcome to Bass the World. My name is Gregor Fries and on bass I'm accompanied by my friend Lars Lehmann today. We put a set of these new Hellbox strings on two of my basses. We have the Sandberg California Bass the World bass, the entry version with the Ash body and we also have the Visual Deal P bass which is also available as their Bass the World edition. <laughs> The signature feature of Dogal Hellbox strings are their focus on making sure your upper harmonics match up with your root notes. They achieve that by using techniques known from string manufacturing for classical instruments. The core of the Hellbox strings is woven. This makes it very flexible, but I have to say these flats feel a bit more stiff compared to the round ones. By using these techniques they achieve a totally unique sound. These strings sound bright but have no considerable highs at all. They also sound rich but don't seem to produce any low low end. Their frequency spectrum seems very much cut off at both ends, but somehow I don't seem to miss anything. Do I want fat basses? I just use my MPQ and it sounds great. Do I need more clarity for a solo piece? I mean just add a little bit of 2.5k and a bit of 4k and you're ready too. And it sounds beautiful actually. <laughs> Jonas Hellbock is a bass player who functions out of the norms we've given ourselves as bass players. He's one of the most spectacular solo bass artists walking on this globe right now. But surprisingly these strings and some good old fashioned standard bass lines also go incredibly well together. <laughs> bit I have to replace the strings for another string review soon. I really love them on my P bass, but this here might be even better. These strings are fascinating, again, with their limited frequency range I should miss something, but, but really don't. Also when you record with these and listen back for the first time, you'll be very surprised how instantly these sound ready to be thrown in a band mix. It's exactly the amount of everything I want to hear and I barely had to touch the EQ for all these sound samples here. But the best thing is the dynamic range of these strings. Flats, but also some uh, run from strings, but especially flats tend to bulk up when you're playing long notes. You get your initial string plug and then the note gets louder and louder until it eventually starts dying off again. Here it's much more controlled, no frequency build ups anywhere on the fretboard. It's all nice and even, which is stunning stuff. I mean, great job Dogal and great job Jonas. <laughs> If you want to check these strings out or these bases, just click the links in the video description below. And how about watching more bass videos? I mean, they're sitting one conveniently right here, right now. 
just just watch it and bye. <laughs>